In this video, a 36-year-old man comes to the physician because of progressive painless enlargement of his right testis. Histologic exam of the testicular biopsy specimen shows a tumor that consists of round nests of cells with conspicuous nuclei and clear cytoplasm. We also see clear cytoplasm in renal cell carcinoma, right? But this is in the testes. These nests are separated by delicate fibrous septa containing numerous lymphocytes. The neoplastic cells are immunoreactive for placental alkaline phosphatase or PLAP. Which of the following is a most likely diagnosis? So let's talk about seminoma in a little bit deeper. This question is talking about seminoma. Just the fact that he has cancer cells with clear cytoplasm and there is present of placental alkaline phosphatase is enough to say this is seminoma because this is only present in seminoma. Now what are some of the features of seminoma? Seminoma is malignant, painless, there is a homogeneous testicular arrangement. This is the most common testicular tumor. It most common affects uh, males aged between 15 to 35. These are large cells in lobules with watery cytoplasm, which they're describing that it's very clear looking. They have a fried egg appearance and they're radiosensitive. Now we learned that uh, seminoma now, this is not found. These are the information you are going to find on first day. What you're not going to find is that seminoma is also present for present have presence of placental uh, alkaline phosphatase you can read up more about seminoma from page 552 uh, from the reproductive system first day 2012 now let's since we learned this new the placental alkaline phosphatase in seminoma let's talk about the other cancers with briefly and what kind of substances are we going to find so for seminoma we're going to find flap what about embryonic carcinoma? Embryonic carcinoma is going to show increase of HCG. Now, what about AFP? AFP is going to be normal. Embryonic carcinoma will only show increased AFP when mixed with some other cancer. Okay. What about yolk sac tumor? Yolk sac tumor is going to have increase of AFP. So when embryonic is mixed with a yolk sac tumor, only then you're going to have increased AFP. Choriocarcinoma, that's the obvious one, that is going to have increased HCG. Teratoma is also going to have increased HCG and, and or, or normal AFP. Okay, so HCG is found in embryonic carcinoma, choriocarcinoma, teratoma. AFP is primarily found in yolk sac tumor or if yolk sac tumor is going to be combined with embryonic and seminoma is going to show flap. So anyways, moving back to this question, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis for a cell that has round nests of cells with copious nuclei and clear cytoplasm, which is kind of, you can see, kind of describing the whole fried egg appearance, round nests of cells with copious nuclei not copious, I'm sorry, conspicuous nuclei and clear cytoplasm and there is fibrous septate so the septa are very clear with numerous lymphocytes and there is immunoreactive uh, presence of PLAP this is clearly seminoma and one last thing I wanted to talk about is the cancer that I just mentioned these cancers are germ cell tumors the non-germ cells tumors usually arise from the, from the Sertoli cells and the Leydig cells. So anyways, so this was my interpretation of seminoma.